Hey guys, we're adding a couple more fruit rocks to our series. Today I'll be showing you how to do these adorable cherries and this fun pineapple rock. So give the video a thumbs up if you like it. If there's a fruit we haven't done, make sure that you leave it in the comments below and subscribe so you don't miss if we create the tutorial. We're continuing on with our cute fruit series. We've got all of these ones available that you can watch um, already uploaded onto YouTube. I will leave a link to these um, other fruits in the comments. So we're just gonna move right along to our next rock here. Um, this one was a request from one of uh, the people that watch our videos over on Facebook. So if you don't follow us over there, um, we have our own page and tutorial group over there as well. So I'm just gonna start by doing two circles right next to each other. And I'm sure you already know what fruit we're heading into. Now, I buy cherries often and they're never this bright red when they're fresh. So I'm gonna take one little swirl of purple in here on one side doodle off the tip of that so it doesn't stick on there and then i'm going to go right back in there with my red and pull that purple around just a smidge just to give it more of a darker red look because my cherries are never super bright they've got that almost magenta kind of tone to them sometimes just like that and we're gonna let that dry. I got my paper a little far away from me today. I always doodle off the tips when I'm blending. So see, when you draw the next time, you get that little bit of purple, but look, now no, no purple left. So if you're blending with your pens, make sure that you're doodling um, the tips of them when you're done so that you don't have that stuck on there. Uh, while that layer of red is drying, I'm gonna go right in with our green and we're gonna pull our cherry stems to the same spot, like so. Now I am gonna line this, so I wanna make my stems a smidge bigger than I might think that I'd want them, so that when I outline them, if I cover a little bit of green, I still have plenty of green showing, like that. And then I am gonna add one leaf on here, and it's a very generic looking leaf on these. Kind of that eye shape. We're gonna go ahead and fill that in, just like so. I'm gonna let the first layer of that dry while we start on our second fruit rock that was, re fruit rock that was requested. I'm gonna swap rocks because I want a taller one for this. And this one is going to be a pineapple rock. So I've got my yellow here. So I'm just gonna start with my oval kind of shape on my rock. Like so, I'm gonna fill that in. Yellow tends to need a second coat, but the inside of a pineapple is pretty yellowish, but the outside has a little bit more of a brown tone to it. So we're gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna. Get a nice layer of yellow going on my rock. And then I'm actually going to take a little bit of brown to it here. And I'm just gonna kind of zigzag in some brown layers like so. These lines are not gonna exist. I know it would make sense for them to. We'll add those details later. I'm just gonna kind of zigzag some brown in there. Doodle off that tip to the side. Like so, and then I'm gonna go right back in with my yellow and I'm just gonna zigzag right over the top of that so it doesn't blend 100% in it. We'll kind of give some variations in that yellow because that's kind of the way the pineapple is. It's not a solid color because of all those little lumps and bumps. So we'll just set that like so. Again, clean off your yellow. And we're gonna add on our little greens. So pineapple top. They're very spiky, tall leaves, like so. We're just gonna work our way um, and do a few different leaves in each direction. Trying to be careful not to touch that yellow yet at the top. Okay, just like that. All right. Our cherries are looking pretty dry over here, so I'm gonna bounce back to my cherry side, and I'm gonna do another layer 
of red on these because they still look a little bit, you can see the stone through them just a smidge. So when you're doing your second layer, don't push super hard. If you push super hard, sometimes you can pull up the layer below if you're not letting it set for a long period of time. There we go. Now I do want that purple in there again. That lightened them up. So I'm gonna go right in with my purple. I'm using different sizes of pens today. If you don't own um, paint pens, the first pack I ever purchased was the multi-pack, so I got a little bit of all the sizes. If you've only got one set or you're only looking to get one set, you could do all of these probably with the 3M or the fine tip, except for the lining. The lining you'll probably want the, the 1M because it's just a little bit thinner um, for getting those, those lines. So I will link to a video where I talk a little bit more about the pens below if you're, if you're interested in more information about these themselves. So I'm gonna start doing my lining on my cherries. And we're gonna have them holding hands. So I just have them kind of crisscross like so. Hands out to the side. Do little sideways teardrops for feet. Okay, we're gonna let that red dry a little bit more before we're doing our faces on there. Now this yellow still seems pretty wet. I kind of did the multiple layers on there, so I've still got to give this a little bit of time to dry. But I can go around and line my green. Now with the green, you've got to decide which ones of the leaves are in the front and the back. So I'm gonna do this one in the front, like so. So you can kind of layer them. And then maybe this one up here. Pick them one at a time to outline so you can give them that layered effect, like so. See how that kind of pushes some of them back, and brings some of them forward. Now the edge of the pineapple is gonna kind of have these little um bumps to it so when you do your edge with your black you don't have to actually draw them on you just give these little upward ticks on it like so and they don't even have to perfectly align on each either side 100 percent. but i try to do the same amount all the way around like so and then i'm going to go ahead and do my feet He's gonna be short and squatty because his body's so tall. And a couple low arms here. Now you could do hands. I do hands on some of them, just arms on others. It's totally up to you and your design. This is just kind of a jumping off point to inspire you a little bit. Okay, our yellow's still looking a little bit wet, but our red's looking good over here. So I'm bouncing back and forth. Uh, feel free to Step away and let them dry. We're just gonna do two faces on these. I like to do wide set eyes. And a nice little smile in the middle. Cool. Um, we can do this next little step while it might be a little bit wet. I'm just gonna take my brown, just add in a couple little kind of triangle tops just around to just give that texture that's on a pineapple in a few places, like so. You don't have to cover the entire thing. It's just, so everybody knows for sure, for sure, it's a pineapple. So, and then we're gonna do our wide set eyes. As long as I don't press too hard, it should lay on top. Oh, see that one, I got a little bit of yellow. Got a little bit ahead of myself. Like so. And I should be able to switch back to my cherry eyes. As long as I have my white pen. Just a dot in the upper right hand corner. Through all four of my eyes. I'm gonna have to fix that black one. Give it just a second to dry. Okay, so once he's dry, you just add his little highlights. And he's done. His mouth got a little bit crooked on me here. 
I'm gonna fix that. We always want them smiling. And there's two more to our fun fruit collection. So make sure you catch the rest of them. And I've actually got a few more to come. So uh, keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.